very even fight. Diaz, Diaz is a guy that got spoiled when he came out of the Olympics. They gave him a car. They gave him a lot of money. He gained weight, and he wasn't dedicated. But now he's with the right team. He's focused, and tonight he wants to show that he belongs with the elite. Now, for Granados, this is a guy that hasn't fought in over a year. That's probably why they gave him the fight. He's a solid kid, and he's hungry to pull out the upset tonight. And for more on that story, let's send it back to Steve Kim, who's standing by with Granados. Alan, thank you very much. Adrian Granados has not been in the ring since last December, but beset by some promotional issues that have bogged him down. Adrian, as you take a look at your fight against Felix Diaz, is ring rust a concern at all? Um, it's not really a concern. I've maintained myself pretty well over the layoff. Um, you know, I'm the type of fighter that will adjust as the fight goes on. I think, you know, once I get warmed up and as the fight continues, uh, I'll, I'll be looking sharp. Adrian, best of luck. That's our main event. Adrian Granados takes on Felix Diaz. Now we kick it up to the champ, Sean O'Grady. Steve, in boxing, the old adage is that styles make fights. There's nobody that's a better style reader than our host and the man next to me tonight, Iron Mike Tyson. So, Mike, let's look at the keys to victory. Diaz for me and tell me about his keys to victory. Well, Felix Diaz is pretty much a consummate boxer. He's a very rare boxer, but very few, um, if ever, he might be the first Dominican that ever won an Olympic gold medal. And he's very fast. He's a, he does a lot of um, jabs and feints, and he tries to um, discombobulate his opponent. And um, it's going to be very interesting seeing him fight tonight. I'm all, he's always a crowd pleaser, and um, I'm... This is just really going to be an exciting night, I think, Sean. He's a very good boxer. I love his style and the keys to victory for his opponent, Adrian Granados. If you take a look there, the speed is extremely important. He's got to work the angles. An uppercut, kind of a Mike Tyson uppercut, would work very well for him because of, of Diaz's style. And he uh, also must feint. What I mean by that is he must fake a shot and then go. You feint a, pe a person out of position and then you let him have it. For Adrian Granados, he really has to take tonight take it to Diaz and try to drop the bomb. Alan? Okay, guys, uh, let's don't forget the co-main event. Claudio Marrero is still trying to come back from an unexpected loss in August of a year ago. Yeah, I mean, he said he was humbled by that loss to Cuellar, and uh, let's see what he learned from that experience. Also on this card, the lion, the beast from the Ukraine, Petrov. They say he's a bad man. Six pro fights, six knockouts. The man in his way tonight, Lewis Rose from Los Angeles, California. Rose knows he's going to have to box a little bit against this guy. We shall see. We're getting started with the middleweights right after this. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, getting set for some middleweight action between the Ukrainian that everybody's getting excited about. A lot of pressure on this guy to come through. Heatrov and Rose, tail of the tape. You would see uh, age pretty much the same weight, height. The only difference here is the reach that goes through Rose. 76 inch reach compared to 72 for Heatrov. He's going to need that reach tonight. Here are the unified rules. No standing eight count. Three knockdown rule is not in effect. Only the referee can stop the fight. Cannot be saved by the bell in the last round. Take a look here at Heatrov. Here's a guy that had over 500 amateur fights, a guy that's very, very confident, and there's Rose, who's not lacking in confidence himself as we head into this middleweight fight. Right now, let's head it up to Bob Alexander. Ladies and gentlemen, from the joint at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tulsa, Oklahoma, our next bout of the evening is brought to you by Iron Mike Productions in association with Fight Promotions, Inc. Scheduled for eight rounds of professional boxing in the middleweight division. Your judges scoring at ringside, Jason Greenwald, Tim Tallchief, and Ron Hayes. When the bell rings, the man in charge, your referee, Gary Ritter. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with gold trim. He weighed in at 161 pounds. His professional record, 11 wins, one oh, loss, baby, one draw, up. three wins by way of knockout. Up, From Linwood, California, here is Lewis, the unknown Rose. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue trunks with yellow trim. He weighed in at 161 pounds. 
As an amateur, a member of the 2012 Ukrainian Olympic team. As a professional, he is undefeated. Six wins, no losses, all six wins by way of knockout. Originally from Ukraine, now fighting out of Brooklyn, New York, here is Evgen, the Ukrainian lion, Petra. Five to Chief, second only other, I clear the ring. Okay, gentlemen, you got your instructions earlier. Give us a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. Both trunks are good. Touch your gloves. Let her buck. <laughs> Let her buck. Final instructions from the referee here in Oklahoma. You saw the intensity on the face of Yevgen Hitrov. He's been a pro 11 months. His longest fight has gone five rounds. In fact, his last one at the Console Energy Center in Pittsburgh lasted 30 seconds against Willie Fortune. We'll see how it goes against Lewis Rose. 25-year-old fighter out of California. He said he's going to have to probably take Raul the first round and see what he's in up against, and then I assume he's going to try to outbox him. Absolutely. He's got to use the, the reach, the height. He's got to stay away from the ropes. Exactly. He's back on the ropes. Yes. He dropped, jumps on him very quickly. He dropped, he's explosive. He comes to fight right off the bat. You see the pressure he's putting on Rose. Rose doesn't need to be over there. No. He's better at a distance. A little bit of a reach advantage. Pretty nice jab so far. Early, early round one, scheduled for eight. And he dropped out, just told him the distance. Right hand, nice right hand from Rose there. Put a whole lot behind it. But uh, Rose comes in with 11 to one record. One draw. Yeah, but that's enough just to keep he dropped thinking, you know, just keep that jab on, that long jab. Straight leads. Don't let him come in. That, come in that easy. That's he trying to fight in the inside. You see himself working inside. Little short compact shots there. That's nice work right there from Rose on the outside. Stepping away. At least he's got him thinking about it a little bit. Nice right hand once again from Rose. Yeah, Rose is very relaxed. Look at him. everything's flowing. You can tell the, he's got the experience and he's fought better caliber opponent than he dropped to. Here's a test. Here's a big, big test for he dropped, yes. Well, we know in the middleweight division, everybody's been talking about Triple G, Gennady Golovkin, who trains in Southern California. But I asked he dropped, what about Golovkin? He said, I'm better. So uh, he's got <laughs> a big hill to That's climb. A very big hill, yeah. I think it's too early in his career to be thinking that way. That means the kid is uh, confident about himself. You know, Rose, Rose might be winning this round, Raul. He's landing more effective punches, but he needs to get out of there. It's, uh, the ring is, uh, it looks like a small ring, so it favors Heatrop. Really closing that gap. But uh, Rose is not doing a bad job fighting off yeah, the ropes. Yeah, there he is. Shot after shot, a left, right, left, right there. Oh. Good movement, good accurate punches. Working behind that jab, boom, overhand right, good leverage, good power, right distance, and uh, put Rose down and out. I don't know, I, maybe he could have gone back up, maybe he felt the power, only he knows, but big win for Heatrop. Well, it was a situation where Rose looked really good. I thought he looked good, bro, but you can't stand on the ropes for one second. Well, this guy will be right on top of you. Yeah, he's a big a power shot over the top. 
He's pretty hurt. I mean, he yeah, definitely got the worst, worst end of it, to say the least. He drops got the cowboy hat out here in yeah, Oklahoma. And, 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 you know, he draws showed his uh, power. You know, he's got that devastating one punch knockout power because, like you said, Rose was doing an excellent job and a uh, move in using angles, combinations, was flying good off the ropes. And then uh, I guess it's just a matter of time. You know, he's working behind the jab. He dropped it. He caught him with that overhand, and then that was the end of it. Okay, it's time to get the official announcement from Bob Alexander standing by in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, from the join at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tulsa, Oklahoma, your referee in charge, Gary Ritter, reaches the count of 10 at 2 minutes, 35 seconds of round number one. Your winner by knockout, still undefeated, Evgen, the Ukrainian lion, Petra. Well, even when he was an amateur, we're talking about 500 amateur fights. He knocked out in the amateurs 80% of his opponents at that time. So we got a, a force yes. of nature right here looking right at us and in that's, Yeah, and that's what a headgear on and the amateur fights are different from the pro so okay. yeah, He's a power puncher. He's got to fight like a lion tonight. <laughs> well, we're just getting started here from the Hard Rock in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Stay with us. A lot of top action coming up as Heatrop gets the job done very quickly once again.